Hello again, friends. I am Seed Hero, and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. Real quick before you maximize your tab away, if you could drop a like on the video, I would appreciate it so, so very much. So, uh, we got hit with our final decision, guys. Our final decision. All three of these seem... seem pretty heavy. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to go yet. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we find it a little more along the way when we go outside. Lord Sereno, I cannot help but feel that our greatest battle lies ahead, regardless of which path you choose. That's a very uh, uh, prophetic Wolford soldier. I know this may not be the best time to say so, but... My wife gave birth to her first child not a few days ago. Oh, man! I'm not forced to ask you to march with us. I ask that you... I ask only that you act according to your own convictions. We must pull together if we are to emerge victorious. I ask that you see us through this final battle. You are a father before a soldier. It's your duty to protect your own house before that of Wolfort. Um... Man... Okay. I know this decision is not important remotely, but it feels very important. We're we're all about we're all about everyone following through with their convictions. So uh this is not me deciding, this is Saranoa. I'll not force you to march with us. I ask you I ask only that you act according to your own convictions. Might I have time to think about it, my lord? But of course. The path before me diverges as well, and I must also take time to think before making a decision. Let us both choose a path that leaves us with no regrets. Thank you, Lord Serenoa. It's an honor to call you my lord. Wait, can we not leave? We can't leave? All of our information is right here. Interesting. Alright, what's this guy got to say? I've never... I haven't seen him in the halls before. To think King Roland, Lady Frederica, and Sir Benedict's convictions would diverge to so greatly after all this time. Just between you and me, Lord Serenoa, what do you make of their plans? Um... I was hoping for, an, for a they-are-all-bad answer, but that doesn't appear to be one. I believe Benedict plans to use Esfra's ideals of freedom to ascend to the top of all Narzelia. I think Roland intends to put his personal feelings aside to bring peace and equality to everyone. Frederica's wish is a human one. She desires to liberate those who have been cruelly opposed. Oops, I pressed A. Aye, but in reality, humans usually only act in their own best interest even if it means turning a blind eye to the suffering of others. Lady Frederica is a, strong will, is a strong woman to stand up for what is right. I couldn't agree more. Ignoring their plight now would be shameful, especially knowing what we do of their innocence. Everyone's choices are deeply rooted in their convictions. It makes me wonder if they'll be able to abide by the scale's decision. Lord Serenoa, it will fall to you to lead everyone down the right path. Of course. I wish for all of us to walk astride the same path as we always have. Oh man, I was hoping to talk to a bunch of people before making this decision. But, that plan seems to have gone straight down the toilet. What do we want? Okay, so. Here's, here's where we're at. Here's where we're at. So far. This run has been, for the majority of the time intentionally, one time that I can think of off the top of my head completely unintentionally, uh, this run has been a an unpopular decision route. And so I, I kind of feel like we have to stick with it. There is a... There is a strong part in me that wants to go with Frederica's plan.
Do I think that it is the best decision? I do not. I think Benedict's strategy is the best decision. Because we are in a video game, I can assume that everything is essentially going to work out in the end. With whoever's path that I take, right? With that knowledge in mind, I can metagame this decision and think to myself, Frederica's vision is great. Like, we're gonna free the Roselle. We might even get to see Centralia. We might get to see more of the world. Like, with that in mind, Frederica's past sounds amazing. In reality, I feel like Benedict's decision of allying with us, Frost, to defeat Hyzant is, without a doubt, the best strategy. Depending on how much damage we deal to Hyzant, there is a solid chance that that could also free the Roselle. I could see that happening. Uh, I do not believe that S-Frost can defeat us at this point. So I think Benedict's strategy is... Without a doubt, number one. Num numero uno. And then finally we have Roland. Roland's plan feels really bad. Feels really bad. The only bright side that I can see to it, and even, even then, they are very much so avoiding it so far in conversations. Um, if we were to perhaps even do some negotiations instead of just being like, oh yeah, here, here's, here's your mine. Here's your mine. Here's all of Glenbrook. Have at it, guys. Instead of doing that, we could potentially do a little bit of negotiations and say, here are the mines. Please let the Roselle free. Or at least give them some actual living conditions, right? Treat them like humans. I feel like they might at least consider that. Knowing that allying with S. Frost is a potential decision for us. So I feel like they could humor that. But with what they're talking about with Roland right now, just leaving the Roselle as slaves and just accepting it and um, living the rest of our lives happy and equally. I... I don't know. I don't know. That all said, this is an unpopular decision route. An unpopular decision run. And I think Roland's decision is 100% the worst, the most inhumane, the most thoughtless, the least caring, the least successful. So we're going with it. That's, that's going to be our goal. It's going to be our goal. Let's try to talk everyone into it. I doubt Frederica can be talked to. Saranoa. Only we can free the Roselle and expose the lie that has kept them in bondage these many years. However, we must move quickly while their gaze is fixed upon the salt crystals. I believe we can succeed. I hear your plea, yet I cannot help but wonder if you wish to act without or with too much haste. But... I know not what I can do to prove to you that I have thought this through. I swear to you. This is no fit of, fit of peak. Benedict's stratagem may also provide the chance to strike at Hyzant. Would that not be enough? And also prolongs this war, and thus the immense suffering of my people. Hmm. Even if we do prevail, you know as well as I that my brother is not a merciful man. He'll not spare so much as a thought for the weak. And that much is true. The result's plight would be buried once more amid negotiations between nations. Do you see? The time is now, and only we have the power to save them. How are we forfeit if we assent to Roland's plan? I have decided. This is the one vision for our future that I cannot abide. Perhaps my concerns seem narrow when all Norzelia is at stake. But I know I can save my brothers and sisters. I beg you consider it. The, the six period ellipses there means that Sarah Noah knows what we're about to do. 
Frederica's resolve is steadfast. Your words have no power here. You have no power here. My Benedict. Lord. We share a common goal with Esfrost at the moment. It is incumbent upon us to seize that opportunity and rid Norzelia for, of Hyzant for good. Indeed, the salt crystals make an alliance with Esfrost possible. But Roland would never assent to it. He feels the weight of the crown, underestimates his own abilities, and has allowed his hatred for Gustadolf to cloud his judgment. I sympathize, but those matters should have no bearing on the welfare of our house. Perhaps you are right, but then what of Frederica's vision? Do you concede that her plan concerns our house? Quite impossible. I concede nothing, for her strategy is out of the question. She asks us to forfeit all that we have fought to build in this domain. How can I reasonably entertain such a proposition? And you'll brook no argument otherwise. None. We must decide. May I remind you that you are Lord of House Wolfort. Your duty is to your people, above all else. I believe I've reached a decision. This moment requires a dip dispassionate mind. I pray you have one. Benedict's resolve is steadfast. Your words have no power here. So, I don't know. I have to assume that, uh, that you've noticed before this. But I cannot come close to mimicking Benedict's voice. Sometimes I try, and sometimes I, I acknowledge that I have zero chance, and I just make fun of it a little bit. But that was me trying, and I can assure, I can assure you I am self-aware enough to know that it was not good. Roland! Tell me, Roland. Sarah Noah. We must give Hyzant the salt crystals. Cow as frost? That, that's a new verb, guys. We have to cow as frost and unite all Norzelia in the name of the goddess, else we will never know peace. The Roselle will continue to suffer, tis true, but this will end war as we know it, and countless more will live in peace as equals. I have made my decision. And I will see this done not just for the people of Glenbrook, but for all Norzelia. Roland, you are the king. Surely cooperation with Hyzant need not mean the forfeit of the kingdom. I think not. That is where you are wrong, my friend. My time on the throne has shown me that the people need a force more powerful than any king to show them the way. There are many paths that lead us out of war, Roland. Cooperating with Esfrost, for instance. End the war by allying with the very Archduke who set this in motion. No cooperating with that tyrant ends nothing. His avarice has brought only pain and suffering to this land. Moreover... If anyone understood the torturous path I've taken to arrive at this decision, I thought it would be you, Sarah Noah. Roland's resolve is steadfast. Your words have no power here. All right, Gila. Be heartless with me. What do you need? Each path before us demands a great sacrifice in exchange for a great reward. I am sure King Roland, Benedict, and Frederica have agonized over their proposals. Well. So now we must agonize over our own decisions. I stand with Roland. So you agree with King Roland, after we fought so bitterly to reclaim that which is ours. What leads you to give it away so freely? While I understand that it must have taken quite tremendous resolve to forfeit the kingdom for the sake of the people, it lays one thing to bear. Which is that King Roland's hatred for Esfrost runs quite deep. Too deep, perhaps. So pray tell, what persuaded you to take his side? He speaks truth. Equality under the goddess is more stable than Esfrost's insistence, insistence that we fight for scraps. We know too little about the Death true power. It would be unwise to fight a battle in, in which we rely on the unknown. I accidentally clicked A on that one too. But hopefully it was convincing. I am comforted to hear that you share my concerns about that weapon. Well, what if... It's no lie that if Gustadolf is willing to believe it will lead him to victory. Rather, I worry that it is not yet complete. Even if it were, I agree with you. We have no assurances as to its power. Well... Moreover, Hyzant has a new weapon of its own. 
It stores, it stores of Elfric. A weapon every bit as unrefined as the Death Snell, and yet I cannot deny its power. Precisely. As a mage myself, I can only imagine what secrets it hides. So we agree that antagonizing Hyzant is unwise, given the undeniable power of Elfric. What, then, will you do once you submit to Hyzant's rule? Um, I think working to change the holy state from within is not a bad decision here. Of the two, of the two, it's certainly the better one. Let's work to change the holy state from within. In your capacity is one of the saintly seven. Exactly so. I believe I can change the way they treat the Rizal. I wonder about that. I fear your vision is rather fanciful, my lord. You are but one of them. They need only cast you out to be rid of your trifling rebellion. I see no logic in handling them in handing them more power than expecting, and expecting them to change their ways. Indeed, such a plot would go against Roland's desire to save Norzelia through the goddess's teachings. But I know you're doing this for Federica. It is noble of you, and I commend you for it. But you cannot satisfy her and King Roland both. You must choose between them. Gila appears indifferent to your plea. Where will she go then? Where would she go? You at? However. Here we stand after a bitter fight to reclaim the Crown City, only for the King to speak of forsaking it. As his subject, it's my duty to follow his decree, and yet... I... My lord, the choice before us feels immense. I am utterly adrift. Pray, tell me how you see the proposals from King Roland and the others. I need your guidance. I stand with Roland. So you've cast your lot with King Roland. Are you certain the surrender of the kingdom is the answer? Hyzant is a formidable nation with both Elfric and the Goddess of Shield at their disposal. We can ill afford to make an enemy of them. Roland is prepared to give up the throne in order to protect his people, and we should honor his resolve. Um... I think... I think the top one's better. Hyzant is a formidable nation with both Elfric and the Goddess of Shield at their disposal. We can ill afford to make an enemy of them. However... Aye, they've proven their might, and none have managed to breach the shield. I'm pay painfully aware of that, my lord. The Death Snell may well be powerful enough a weapon, but we cannot be sure. Quite right. Meanwhile, we know the destruction of Elfric can cause. It would be a fearsome we weapon should they ever perfect it. But... Perhaps it's safer to submit to Hyzant than rise up against them. Suppose we do submit to Isaac, my lord. What will become of us? As for us starved of salt, we'll be forced to sue for peace. We will have the chance to avert war. I expect Hyzant will employ us as the first line of attack against Esfrost to unify Norzelia. I bet it's going to be the bottom one. I do not see Esfrost trying to be peaceful here. Bottom one. In which case... Yes, I imagine you're right. We would be tasked with breaking their ranks. That Hyzant might strike Esfrost down. It's not enough that we lay down the kingdom at their feet. We must also give our lives for Hyzant. Not for Hyzant, Huat. For Norzelia. Roland wishes to unite the continent under, under the goddess. That we may save countless lives and bring peace to these lands. I see the wisdom in his vision, and offer my sword in the fight for Norzelia's people. For Norzelia's people. Very well. You both are enamored with a grand vision of the future. Then... Perhaps it's time for I look for a broader view myself. You had his deep in thought. We have... but two more people to sway. Lord Saranoa. Benedict, King and King Roland would march us to war. Frederica would see Hyzant hunt us for all eternity. Perhaps her vision is not so different. So it's come to this. Ally with a one-time opponent, or flee with the Roselle? However... Bold proposals all. 
Our tactics must be flawless. We... we stand with Roland. Tell me one thing, my lord. King Roland aims to unify Glenbrook with promises of peace for the masses. Peace he will achieve by submitting to Hyzant and destroying Esfrost. How do you find his proposal? You said it yourself. Unifying. No. Yes, unified beneath the goddess, for they will be made to follow her. The people of Glenbrook will be forced to abandon their culture, their traditions, and the kingdom will fade along with them. Is that truly what King Roland wants? He knows what it will cost us. Nevertheless, it is his will. Then? I understand the logic. We all want peace, stability, equality. But is the cost not too great? Anna appears indifferent. What if we fail... What if we fail going the unpopular route? Is that a thing? If we try to convince four undecided people, and we fail half of them? Aye, lad. Alright. Our sweat and blood's fed this land. Built it into a proper domain. I see no reason why we should surrender it all to Hyzant. And Lady Frederica, while I sympathize, asks that we risk everything for the sake of the Roselle. Here's what I think. Benedict's got the right of it, I reckon. But even that doesn't quite doesn't quite quiet the nagging feeling I get every time I think about our options. You agree with King Roland? What are you thinking, lad? Gustadolf has taken taken too much from all of us. His greed cannot continue unchecked. Roland nearly tore himself apart to arrive at this decision, and I stand with my dear friend. Um, we have to go with the top one here. Our our buddy here, our, our shield bro buddy here, likes Roland, I think, but I, I, I firmly believe that he's more of a Glenbrook man, or more of a Glenbrook man. More of a Wolfort man than a Glenbrook man. So I don't think telling him about about how Roland tore himself apart to arrive at this decision. I don't think that's gonna work. Gustav has taken too much from all of us. His greed cannot continue unchecked. Uh You'll hear no argument from me. Gustav's a lousy cur. I haven't forgotten all the blood he spilled. King Regna, the Crown Prince. Say nothing of taking the Crown City from us. He set this painful chapter into motion, and I reckon he's what's pushed King Roland to want to ally with Hyzant. He had his reasons, ending Hyzant's salt monopoly and espousing freedom among them. But he has disturbed the peace of Glenbrook, indeed all Norzelia, for too long. Ha! Huh. So it's revenge you're after. And so? Why didn't you say you were... You were carrying out the royal family's revenge from the start. That much I can understand. And I'm sure you'll see it done. It's the last thing you do as lord of a high house. Eridor is deep in thought. So he... He was swayed by... He was swayed by talk of revenge. Cute. Cute. Alright, everybody. Now is the time. The time has come for potentially our final decision. Come on up to the scales of conviction. It is time to commence voting. What if we didn't what if we didn't sway enough people to our side and ever and we just go we go whatever route all the undecided wanted to? It is to. time to cast our votes. The opinions before us are many. Roland's, Frederica's, Benedict's. Which to choose? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You aren't wrong, but... My apologies, Lord Serno, but I must place my token elsewhere. My apologies. I have decided to stand my ground. We failed to sway, at least so far, we have failed to sway two, two different 
uh, votes, two different undecided votes. I don't think that's ever happened before. It's like they had a decision planned out beforehand. I have faith in you. I've decided that this is what's best for both King Roland and us all. I'm with you. My mind's all made up. You've got my vote, lad. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. All right, what do we got? What do we got? A tie. We have a tie? <laughs> Poor Frederica. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the Rosellans. I'm sorry. What do we do? Equal votes for all sides. As such, what? the Lord of the House will render the final decision. What? <gasps> Oh, no. Okay. Well, I, uh... Stand with... I stand with... Guys, I stand with Roland. Welcome... Welcome to the kingdom of Hyzant. New Hyzant. The way forward is decided. And, uh, if you travel to the north, to those mines, you will find the, the mines of New Source. We will stand by Roland. Bend the knee to Hyzant and unify Norzelia. If griefs could passions move. Completed! Alright guys. I know it's a little bit early. I'm used to these episodes taking a lot longer, but we are going to call it a day for now because it seems like the perfect place to wrap up. Thank you so much for joining me in our Skills of Conviction episode. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.